and my name is Celeste. I'm sure you can guess what I am. Okay, she lost a little S, so it will fall. So all the way wrong, you know, she's always slipping around with all these kinds of people. Like, for example, last weekend I saw her hanging out with Dallas Bass. for tonight's special ceremony. I have no idea what to do. You see, the cypher is running low on power. But uh, uh, boss, what about the competition? We have so many prizes to give out. Yes, I know the prizes in the competition are a thing, but power is essential to both. I barely had enough to make it back in time for the opening ceremony. Yes. <laughs> well, I might add, I did not see you. Well, boss, I had to go get something to eat. Dinner was slithering away so fast, I almost didn't catch it. Yes, well, remember what I always say. <laughs> always <laughs> take them out at the knee. <laughs> yes. Well, besides which, why don't you check the uh, devices over there? See if one of them might have something we can glean. <laughs> Some information from. <laughs> Well, I bet there's something cooking in there. <laughs> something? Let's see. Yes. Oh, it's a magic eight ball. Wonderful. Let's see. Will you help us save King's Island's energy deficit? No. Ask again later. Oh, darn it. <laughs> that always seems to happen with that particular device. Uh, try the term, Celeste. Perhaps there's some information in there we can glean. <laughs> Very important. Oh, look, change the page, turn the page. Oh, my goodness. Don't you both see that? I'm so sticky, Doctor. I just, oh. Well, I don't know anything about that. But it should say somewhere in there that we need a very special instrument of monotonal quality, of great power, and even more greater annoyance. Not unlike some of these children here, I imagine. <laughs> Something to break this fever.
<laughs> oh, don't you feel energized, ladies? I feel we should reward our guests for their efforts. <laughs> but boss, you're not gonna make it easy on them, are you? Of course not! We're going to make them work for it. <laughs> <sighs> Celeste, you tell our illustrious guests exactly what they stand to gain in this game of life and death. Yes, boss. Our victims, I mean, yes, will be playing and competing for a one-way hearse trip straight to the depths of hell. We can give them even a little less crispy on this corner. Sharp and guillotine. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a good idea. Write that down, dearie. You got it, Bob. Is there something else we can give them a little less messy, perhaps? Mm, let me see what I got. Wonderful. You do that. I assure you, folks, she's usually very helpful in these situations. Oh, so, oh. oh dear. And here the headlight syndrome again. Hello. Oh, boss. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. wonderful. Um, what is it? It. One fright lane pass could for any haunted attraction up to six guests. Wait, what? Six guests! I'm sorry, I didn't quite get it. Six! The speakers are too loud. Six, six, six! Oh! Oh, that's one of my favorite numbers, you know. Right there next to 65, you know. Satan's neighbor. I will take your soul to the depths of the storm. All right, well, that's enough to go around. Sorry, boss. I only have one. Good Well, don't worry. Everyone's leaving here with something, although hopefully not the clap. <laughs> well, since there's only one to go around, I guess you'll have to fight for it. Now, I've got some very special devices here. Nothing. What? They can play a game like for Asa, I love to play all sorts of games like King the Tail on the Scream of Heaven, but my absolute favorite is to dress up in other people's heels! Please, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> See, just a minute. Perhaps we shall play a game then, and we'll call it Monster Makeover! <laughs> Oh, do you like the sound of that, Bobby? I can't hear you! Wonderful! Well, then that's exactly what we'll do. We'll give them a little time to prepare themselves. In the meantime, I'll get you. Make sure you're ready for what you're about to occur. Now, in this instance, you are permanent. Oh, yes, you get to be judge and jury, but not executioner! <laughs> My fault. Now, what are you trying to say? No, no, I'm sorry. The uh, thought must have crossed his mind, but it was probably a very long and lonely journey. Oh, you're ready. Wonderful. Fantastic. Well, you'll have 60 seconds to put together your favorite outfits, at which point we'll judge you on your fashion sense or lack thereof, more likely. All right, Kinesh, can we have some traveling music for a companion to you? Hop to it! It's usually what I tell our one-legged fam. <laughs> I know, I know. I stole that joke. All right, hurry, hurry. I know you're probably used to getting dressed in the dark by the looks of you. <laughs> yes, make like your shirt says and just do it. Hurry up! Quickly now, quickly! Oh, who do we have over here? Is that Donkey Kong? Are you monkeying around? Somebody get this guy a banana. <laughs> To run fast, faster than her. <laughs> oh, got a best seat in the house right up front. Careful, we're fast, though. 
Yeah. Celeste, what say you? Pause and stop! 